Take one. Take one. Right. Good evening, everybody. Today is the day three of geometrical optics. Or this is going like a revision thing. So geometrical optics day three it will be the final day. Today we'll be mainly discussing on uh, drawing ray diagrams. Right? Drawing ray diagram for images formed by uh, lenses and mirror curved lenses. Okay, convex lens, concave lens, and convex mirror, concave mirror. Okay. Right. Before we start, quickly tell me: Is all the duos perfect? Put to the group. These are the duos perfect. All okay. All clear. Ah, one more point. One more point. Me. This idea just now I got just now again before starting the class. Right? While coming in the rain. Hey, while coming in the rain, I got an idea. Me. Me. Now your term test is starting. No second term test is starting. <laughs> Provincial test, the term test. It's starting off in the last week of uh, October. Both Central Province and Western Province. Most probably we can round it off the last week of October for both Grade Ten and Grade Eleven. So before that, I yesterday asked in the Grade Eleven group what section y'all want mainly. What section y'all want mainly before the exam? Today I asked in grade 11 group also. Uh, sorry, today I asked in grade 10 group also. Uh, up to now, now in grade 10 group also, most of them are asking chemistry section. Grade 11 group also, now from yesterday, mostly the words came for what you call uh, chemistry section. So that means our chemistry level are in chemistry is now at upset stage. No? So my plan is to revise chemistry. But uh, with the timing, that thing, right, that, pro that, that process, revising chemistry section, with the timing now, we have to start it tomorrow itself. Now, today, however, we are geometrical optics to do. So, tomorrow, however, grade 10 RQD is there. Our plan for the grade 10 RQD was doing quantification of elements and compounds. Now, that was our initial plan. So, I am slightly making a change in the plan. Tomorrow, we will start the chemistry revision section for both grade 10s and grade 11. What we are going to revise is all the chemistry lessons in grade 10. Grade 10, all the chemistry lessons we are going to revise. So that quantification of elements and compounds will also come. Plus, everything will also come. Tomorrow, we are going to start it. Uh, I will update you all the time also. What time we are going to start? Nine. Usual time is 9. Sometimes we may have to start at 8.30. And uh, we'll be finishing somewhere around 11.30, right? uh, because a lot of things to cover. Plus, sometimes if we don't have time, three hours, however, might be we not be able to cover everything. Still, I'm planning. By tomorrow, I'll plan everything. By tonight, I'll plan everything. So, most probably by 11.30, if we couldn't cover everything, then we'll have to do day two. Day two also. Day two will be falling on 20. Day two will be falling on 23rd, I guess. Day two will be falling on 23rd. No, 24th. 24th, okay. Day two will be falling. If we have to do a day two, day two will be falling on 24th. So tomorrow, our main planner is starting off the chemistry revision seminar for both 10s and 11s. What we are going to revise is all the chemistry sections in grade 10. Okay, plus all the other additional updates by to tonight or tomorrow morning, I will put in the group. Uh, what you need to do is once when you come home tomorrow, after the school, once when you come home tomorrow, have a small nap because sometimes it will go up to 11, 11.30, okay, in the meeting. 
those who feel little bit sleepy those who feel a bit sleepy we have a small nap and get ready you all know how to get ready you know just like how we revise here we you have to have some a4 sheets and all and those things i'll update in the group also have some a4 sheets if can go through the grade 10 chemistry sections whatever the places you have already got stuck just read those sections and keep so that it will be easy for you when i'm explaining then you can focus more on sections that you want to so if you can if you can just read those sections also keep so two things to do tomorrow other things i will update tonight nothing tomorrow morning However, after you come home from the school tomorrow, have a small nap, chudi nap pack, so that you don't feel sleepy because uh, not usual time slot. We'll have to start a bit early and we'll be finishing also a bit late night. Either have a nap also. Uh, uniforms and everything for the next day also prepare and keep. Plus, whatever the chemistry sections in grade 10 and grade 11, go through and keep. So those things do and keep. Other additional details are update in the group for both tens and levels one shot tens and levels okay so that's the plan still that plan is running on the mind so by tomorrow tonight or tomorrow i'll update everything right uh geometrical optics day three <coughs> and there was a question will i upload the recording yeah all the rqd recording is there in the youtube the one so youtube go to that king's story youtube channel under that live section you have all the rqd recording so all the RQD recordings will be there. Once when we live stream, it will be available in your this thing. In the recording, don't worry. Recording, you don't need to worry. Recording will be automatically upload, uploaded to the YouTube. Hurry. Today's section will do geometrical optics. So already we did the initial parts of geometrical optics. Day one, we did about reflection and refraction. Day two, we just started curved mirrors and lenses. Curved mirrors, there are two types, convex mirror, concave mirror. Lenses, there are two types, convex lens, concave lens. Whatever, when we send different types of light rays towards the lens and towards the mirror, how they reflect and refract, that also we learn. Plus, practically also we did. Only one more thing remaining to discuss today and finish it off. That is, drawing ray diagrams. Drawing ray diagram for images formed by convex concave mirrors and concave convex concave lasers. So only the ray diagram part is there. Ah. All listen very carefully. All listen very carefully. Uh, first of all, I will teach about drawing ray diagrams for concave mirror, concave mirror and convex lens. First of all, I am going to teach about, discuss about drawing ray diagram for concave mirror and convex lens. That one only I will be discussing first. There you go. Listen very carefully. Listen very carefully. I will just take a concave mirror. I will just take a concave mirror. I will just take a concave mirror. What is this concave mirror going to be? Last week I, ex I explained. There you go. Mirror is there. Cave part is the reflecting surface, then the other side is that kata kata light, rough surface. Cave part is reflecting, other side kata kata lights. And we already know, we draw the principal axis. There you go. Inside the curve part, you have the focal point and center of curvature. These are the special points. Next, if I take convex lens, Next, if I take convex lens, there you go. In a convex lens, there you go. If I draw and show, convex lens is there. Principal axis is there. Convex lens, principal axis. I told you, both the sides, you have two special points. What are the two special points? F2F, F2F. F2 both the sides, you have two special points. Here. In concave mirror, that means curved mirrors, only one side, two special points. When it comes to lenses, both the sides, two special points are there. All right. These are things that we discussed already. In drawing ray diagram, what we do? Lamai, we take an object. For example, I take you. I keep you in front of the concave mirror. And I'm going to observe where the image is formed. Is the image 
upright or inverted is the image real or virtual and is what is real or virtual i'll explain is the image bigger smaller or equal in size those are the four points we are going to check what we do i take you keep you in front of the mirror check where the image is formed is the image upright or inverted is the image real or virtual what's the size big small equal same thing with lenses also i take you keep you in front of the lens and i'm going to check where are the image is formed is the image upright or inverted is the image real or virtual is the image big small or equal in size those are the four things we are going to check now sometimes in the mcq question slamai they will suddenly ask you ah uh, a uh, object is placed in between f and 2f where is the image form of what is it suddenly they ask you object is placed in between f and 2f where are the image is form can you suddenly take little bit hard no ah uh, give me 10 minutes i will make it fully easy bottom but easy after 10 minutes i will ask the same question see how are you going to answer that time huh? thinking pattern will fully change after 10 minutes the way you are going to answer is totally different right now listen very carefully so our main job is take a object keep it in front of the mirror check where the image is formed real or virtual upright or inverted the size same thing with the lenses that means we have to take a object and keep it in front no? now practically think can tell me can i take you and keep you in front aunt told me it's practically hard no? so our object is going to be a arrow what we are going to keep in front object is going to be a arrow if now if you don't like arrow you can give a pen if you don't like a pen you take my water bottle and keep it in front of you but for the easiness of drawing always what we do is we take a arrow and keep it in front arrow is the object arrow is the object next what we are going to do is listen now this object we can keep it in six different places how many different places we can keep this arrow six different places both in concave mirror and convex lens we can keep the arrow in six different places and is so what are the six different places there you go between the mirror and focal point that is position 1 at focal point that is position 2 between focal point and center of curvature position 3 at center of curvature position 4 just after center of curvature position 5 at infinity very far away at infinity position 6 so what we do is we take a arrow keep it in six different positions And check where the image is formed. Is the image upright or inverted? Is the image real or virtual? What's the size of the image? Same thing we do with convex lens also. You take the object, take the object, and keep it in six different positions. What are the six different positions? Between the lens and focal point, position one. At focal point, position two. Between f and two f. Now here only difference is instead of center of curvature. You write two f here. See here center of curvature in concave mirror. Here you have two f. That's the only change. At two f position four, away from two f position five, at infinity position six. So you keep the object at six different position. Find where the image is formed. Is the image real or inverted? Sorry, is the image real or virtual? Is it upright or inverted? What's the size of the image? That's it. If you can tell it suddenly, when I suddenly ask, ah. Uh, Position three between F and F. If you keep the object, where are the images formed? What's the size of the image? Is it real or virtual? Is it going to be upright or inverted? If you can tell it, you are okay with this test. Uh, let's okay, right. Now I know it's a bit hard to quickly tell it. No, I mean once when we ask, I give the object between F and C here. Where are the images formed? At once when I ask, it's a little bit hard to tell. No, where are the images? Is real or virtual? Are of course it's a bit difficult to tell. That's where we come across our shortcut for this. That's where we come up with the shortcut for this. What's the shortcut to easily memorize 
the position of the image is it real or virtual upright or inverted big or small what's the shortcut for this ah la my now this is very clear in my shortcut first position we are not going to tell first position you need to memorize separately that means between the mirror and focal point or between the lens and focal point that position you need to memorize separately don't worry today we will memorize it so first position we are going to not tell we are, we are not going to tell our shortcut start from second position second position is at focal point third position i will give a symbol for that star then what is my third position between f and center of curvature in lenses what is the third position between f and to f between this and that f and to f between f and center of curvature for both i will put a star and key for both the places i will put a star and key so listen very carefully between f and c star that and between f and to f i give star for that my fourth position is at center of curvature in mirror in lenses it is 2f we will use 2f here here after but remember if i talk about curved mirrors it will be center of curvature my fifth position i am going to give a special point here special name there i will keep it as dot so fifth position is going to be a dot there you go fifth position i will give a dot so what is fifth position after 2f in lenses after 2f in curved mirrors after center of curvature sixth position is infinity so in my shortcut we are not going to talk about first position second position is focal point between f and c star at c that is c after c is dot at infinity that is infinity so without first position all the other position what is the shortcut what's the shortcut very simple there you go you draw a chart like this one side object one side image you are going to keep the object at six different position but i told you in my shortcut first position we are not we are going to ignore so we start from the second position second position is focal point there you go start from focal point after focal point my next position is star star is in between what am but f and to f in mirrors that is in between f and c so however my second position here is star after that it is going to be in lenses to f in curved mirrors it is center of curvature there you go i name it as center of curvature no we we'll name it as 2f we we'll use 2f the after the uh, the position after 2f is going to be dot there you go i keep a dot there and the final position is going to be infinity Sixth position is going to be infinity. So without my first position f between f and two f at two f after two f at infinity. When we keep the object at this position, where is the image going to be formed? Very simple. Write the same thing upside down. That means infinity goes there, dot goes there. Even if we turn two f is two f, no star comes down. f comes here and is a what does this mean la my very simple you keep the object at focal point image will be formed at infinity in concave mirror and convex lens what 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 you keep the object at focal image will be formed at infinity in convex lens and concave mirror so in both those things object at f image at infinity star is what between f and to f Object between f and to f, image what is that? After to f. Object at to f, image also at to f. Object after to f, image between f and to f. Star is between f and to f. Object at infinity, image is at over. Now I'll ask the same question. Are ten minutes before the question that I asked? What was the question? In a concave mirror. You keep the object between f and c. Now c is only two f. In our shortcut, c only I named it as two f. So c and two f. Now can't name it two times. C is two f. Now we are telling the same question I'll ask again. Same question I'm going to ask again. In a concave mirror, object placed between f and center of curvature, that is star. Where is the image formed? 
Where is the wave form? Object between F and center of curvature. Where is the wave form? Where is the wave form? Where is the image form? Quick, 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 quick. That's the image form. Hmm, very good. After two web. After two web, in curved mirror is what? In concave mirror is what? After two web is center of curvature. So you get them after center of curvature. After center of curvature. Very simple. Now you might tell me, and sir, only this is there. Then what about our real low virtual story, upright or inverted, uh, bigger size, that was a shortcut. Lamai, all these images, there you go. All these images are going to be real. All these images are what? Real. Yes. Both in concave mirror and convex lens. And all these images are inverted. All these images real, all these images inverted. So that story also finished. Only one more thing is there about the side. That also there's a lot of us. 2F, 2F, same size. Images above are going to be enlarged. Images below are going to be diminished. Diminished means become smaller. Images above enlarged, images below diminish. Now tell me, object between F and C. I asked for concave mirror. For concave mirror, object between F and C. Do you have a C in the mirror? Object between F and C. Where is the image form? Where is the image form? Shut up at a car and now you should tell them. Where is the image form? Instead of 2F, now use the word C. Yeah? We are talking about concave mirror. In a concave mirror, object between F and C. Where's the image form? Quick, 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 quick. Where's the image form? Uh, after C, dot is after C, you know, you can give me that. Is the image real or virtual? 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 Guaranteed, real. Upright or inverted? Upright or inverted? Upright or inverted? There you go, guarantee inverted. What can you tell about the size? Enlarged or same size or diminished? Enlarged or same size or diminished? Enlarged or same size or diminished? Guarantee enlarged. Why? 2 f 2 f same size. Above that enlarged, below that diminished. So this is going to be enlarged. That's going to be enlarged. Okay. So same question before 10 minutes I asked. Now after 10 minutes I asked. Okay. Now, what, what do you feel about this section here? What do you feel about this section? Ah, no, this is only for this part is only for concave mirror and convex lens. Huh? So the other two words I will teach that's also a small short time. What do you feel about this section here? For a tougher section. I think nothing much. <laughs> nothing to teach. No. All right. Uh, right. Uh, now, now, how to draw the ray diagram? That's all the very simple. How to draw the ray diagram? Now, six different positions are around for concave mirror, also six, six different positions. For convex lens, also six different positions. How to draw the ray diagram? First, I will talk about concave mirror. First, I will talk about concave mirror. Six different positions. How to draw the ray diagram? Remember, to draw a ray diagram, ray diagram means what? You plot where the image is formed. 
to draw a ray diagram that means to plot where the image is formed remember always from the object there should be minimum of two rays coming from a certain point there should be minimum of two rays coming there should be minimum of how many rays coming there should be minimum of two rays coming and when we are plotting ray diagrams always what we do is we keep the object on the principal axis so always put is on the principal axis so the image formed also always the food should be on the principal axis if it is like that like that always the food should be on the principal axis because we keep the object on the principal axis so however wherever the image is formed always the food should be on the principal axis you can't change it always the food of the image should be on the principal axis because always the object food is placed on the principal axis that is one point then what's the only problem we have head of the object food no problem no. always the food is going to be formed on the principal axis our issue is with the head no from head we are going to send two light rays we reflect and take the place where reflected rays meet is the place where head of the image is formed in the concave mirror food is always on the principal axis the place where reflected rays meet reflected rays meet final so they are somewhere they will be meeting the place where they meet is the place where images head will be formed food is always on the principal axis so when you know the head food is on the principal axis connect them you will have the image okay now how do you do it what are the two rays always remember in concave mirror except your fourth ray diagram except your fourth ray diagram all the other ray diagrams you send one ray parallel to principal axis one ray parallel to principal axis and the second ray you send through your center of curvature in the concave mirror what are that in concave mirror when drawing parallel what do you call uh, when drawing um, ray diagrams for except the fourth ray diagram all the other ray diagram from the head you send one light ray parallel to principal axis and the second light ray you send through center of curvature you all tell me light ray coming parallel to principal axis light ray coming parallel to principal axis how will it reflect and go through a concave mirror how will it reflect and go through a concave mirror last the work how will it reflect and go through a concave mirror light ray coming through principal axis sorry light ray coming parallel to principal axis how will it reflect and go parallel and what word is connected parallel and what word is connected last we gave one parallel and what word very good parallel and vocals so it will reflect and go through the vocal or as if it is going from the vocal light ray coming from center of curvature sorry light ray coming through center of curvature how will it go light ray coming through center of curvature how will that go how will that go how will that go light ray through center of curvature how will it that how will that go through the same path it will reflect and go through the same path it will reflect and go through the same path it will reflect and go through the same path so if i start drawing if i start drawing only first two i will draw afterwards you should draw one there you go concave mirror concave mirror six different positions are there my first position is between the my first position is between the mirror and focal so first position there you go i keep the object object between 
object between mirror and focal. I keep the object between mirror and focal. Where will the image be found? We already know. This one we don't know. Diago concave mirror. Diago concave mirror. Principal axis. Somewhere here you have the focal. And then here you have the center of curvature. You place the object between the mirror and focal. Foot is always on the principal axis. So you don't need to worry about the foot. Object foot is always on the principal axis. You don't need to worry about the foot. We only worry about the head. From the head, two light rays are sent, except the fourth ray diagram, two light rays are sent. One parallel, it will reflect and go through the focal. If I draw and show you all, there you go. One light ray parallel to principal axis. It will reflect and go through the focal. It will reflect and go through the focal. It will reflect and go through the focal. There you go. It will reflect and go through the focal. Second light ray I sent to center of curvature. There you go. Second light ray I sent through center of curvature. That means through here, touching the head, the light ray should go. No, I have not scaled it properly. Properly, you need to scale this end over. Uh, one, one, two, and a little bit more. One, two, and a little bit more. Somewhere here, you have the center of curvature. So from center of curvature, if I send a light ray, no, still. Right back way. Right back way. Ah, right. I'll do a small chill mark with that. Now see ya. You need to properly scale and draw. To scale and draw, this side light rays won't be known. It looks like parallel. Fully will scale and draw. Fully will scale and draw. Otherwise, it won't come. All right, there you go. I'll know the principal axis again. Somewhere here, I will mark focal. Right. Here you have the center of curvature. First one, object between the focal and the mirror. First light ray, there you go. <laughs> Parallel. Reflect and go through the focal. Reflect and go through the focal. Second light ray through the center of curvature. Now it's coming correctly. There you go. Ah, right. Ah. Y'all tell me. Y'all tell me. Y'all tell me. 
you all tell me is it meeting this side is the light place meeting this side is the light place meeting this side is it meeting that side is there any meeting point even if i extend it keep on extending will it ever meet this side will it ever meet that side no no la my see even if i keep on extending this side the light rays won't meet so where do i have a meeting point i have a meeting point now see if i extend this side can you see now there is a meeting point there you go now there is a meeting point can you see that this side you don't have a meeting point but on the other side but on the other side for this object you have a meeting point somewhere here i told you meeting point is going to be your head meeting point you will have your head and always the foot is on the principal axis no head and the foot you connect that is your image that is your image that is your image that is a image so that's how you draw a ray directly very simple what you do parallel reflect and go through focal the other light ray from center of curvature which is touching the head of the object there you will be sending that travels in the same path if i extend it this way it won't meet if i extend it that way it will meet meeting point you have the head tail is hovering on the principal axis so both of them you connect that is your image that is your image now what are the properties of this image first image i told you we are going to learn it separately you now from the second image only we have the shortcut lama i now listen can you see now image is formed inside the mirror image is formed inside the mirror this is mirror inside the mirror image is formed if it is formed inside the mirror you cannot take it to a screen can you take a screen and keep it inside the mirror and take the image to the screen yeah you cannot take a image formed inside the mirror to a screen so this image is virtual image what type of image virtual virtual image virtual image upright or inverted look at it and upright or inverted upright or inverted upright or inverted guarantee it is upright very simple guarantee it is upright enlarge or diminish ah uh, we got all the answers enlarge or diminish enlarge it is guaranteed enlarge it's guaranteed enlarge and where is the image formed where is the image formed to get there it is formed behind the mirror image formed behind the mirror image formed behind the mirror only this one you need to memorize all the other things you have it in the short cut chart now how to memorize this also can you see this is the opposite of our shortcut in our shortcut all the images are real no? but first ray diagram is going to be virtual all the ray diagram all the diagrams there are real in the shortcut but here it is going to be virtual in the shortcut all the images are inverted but in the first one image is going to be upright so those two are opposite first ray diagram opposite of the shortcut enlarge this one you need to memorize separately lama if it is virtual guaranteed it will be behind the mirror so it is behind the mirror inside the mirror so that's it. first ray diagram that now second one on words you already know the place where image is going to be formed you know the properties of the image also no so now do it in the opposite way now all this time what we did all this time in the school and all what did you do you drew the ray diagram and then wrote the properties now do it in the opposite way you already know the properties slowly shape again do a gilmart method and draw the ray diagram such that when you keep the object at focal image should go to infinity image at infinity means that means they are telling the rays should never meet that is what you mean by image formed at infinity so whatever the rays are formed there reflected rays 
they should never meet they should go parallel to each other hmm. they will travel parallel to each other in case if they meet they will be enlarged it will be real it will be inverted ah will you try and see will you try and see second ray diagram second ray diagram for concave mirror am i scale it and draw otherwise we will have that problem like before scale it and draw when you all are doing now just observe the data you can draw now just observe there you go the mirror principal axis and <coughs> scale it this way focal to it and to it and so see the focal c this is f this is c now what is the position second position second position is the first position here that is at focal hmm. i'll place the object at focal there you go i place the object at focal first of all you all tell me what are the properties object at focal what are the properties object at focal what are the properties object at focal what are the properties image form at infinity image is going to be enlarged image will be real image will be inverted now accordingly we'll draw always i told you always i told you there you go always i told you we don't worry about the foot no? we only worry about the head from the head two light rays one light ray parallel to principal axis it will reflect and go through the focal one light ray parallel to principal axis reflect and go through the focal next second light ray from center of curvature it should touch and go the head of the object there that is it should touch and go the head if you properly draw that you go you all tell me is it going to meet somewhere at this side is it going to meet somewhere at this side no so it's going to parallelly travel in case if it meets we consider that the meeting point will be somewhere at infinity in case if it meets it won't happen in case if it meets the meeting point will be somewhere at infinity so the image also forms at infinity okay we'll go to the third ray diagram continue here third ray diagram now what's your third position you place that f next is where between f and c now your turn eh? now your turn between f and c there you go principal axis f is there will scale it T is there. Now the object is between F and C. Object is between F and C. You already know the images. You already know the images. You already know the properties of the images. Now try to do two rays. Always two rays. One ray parallel reflect and go through focal. The other ray, other ray, try to send through center of curvature. the other ray try to center the center of curvature that's it okay okay Right. If I draw and show, then I go parallel, reflect and go through focal, second ray through center of from center of curvature, and it goes somewhere like that. It goes somewhere like that. Now you might tell me, sir, it is going out of this mirror. It's going out of the mirror. How to draw this? Now, my for this there is a technique. For this there is a technique. 
and these kinds of situation actually what we do is we draw dotted line from the center from the center we draw a dotted line we consider this is our curved mirror so we do the reflection on this dotted line keeps on going we do the reflection on this dotted line so that's how we do to make the things more easier I keep the object somewhere here. You feel it can see. Parallel, reflect and go through focal. The other light ray that will go center of the image. If I draw diagonal, diagonal. However, not going to meet this side, but if I extend this side, it will mean. So I'll extend. I'll extend. You need to keep on extending until they meet. Somewhere here they are meeting. There you go. Somewhere they are. There you go. So that is going to be your head. That is going to be your head. I'll explain the principal axis also. That will be your head. Put is however here. Now draw the image. That's your object. That's your image. Got the same diagram? Got the same diagram? Okay. Okay. Now go to the next one. At center of curvature, that is fourth one. You all give a try whether you can draw it in the normal way or not. Both diagram, I told you there is issue there. You all just give a try and see whether can you do it in the normal way. Fourth way diagram. One ray parallel going through a focal, other one through center of curvature. Check whether you can do it that way. Check whether you can do it that way. Normally. This one you need to very really properly scale it. Huh? F is there, C is there. Object at center of curvature. Object at center of curvature. Object at center of curvature. First slight ray, no problem. 
first light trace in parallel, first light trace in parallel to the principal axis that has no issue. It will reflect and go through focal point. It will reflect and go through focal point. What about the second light ray? Second light ray, we usually send it through center of curvature and touching the head. Y'all tell me in this one, can you send a light ray through center of curvature but touching the head? Can you send such a light ray? A light ray should send, light ray should be sent through the center of curvature but touching the head. Can you do something like that? A light ray through center of curvature but touching the head. No, 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 no. See, why? Here we keep the object on the center of curvature. That means foot is on the center of curvature. So if you send a light ray here, it will go through the foot. Can we take it through the head? No. But what we need? We need to send a light ray through the head. So only for this ray diagram, what we do is, instead of sending the light ray through center of curvature, here we send a light ray through focal point. But before drawing that, draw a dotted line as well. Just like before, draw a dotted line as well. Now see, to eliminate that problem, what we do is, instead of sending through center of curvature, we send the light ray directly through focal point. Now we all think and tell me, light ray coming from focal point. Light ray coming from focal point. How will it reflect and go? How will it reflect and go? Light ray through focal will reflect and go parallel to the principal axis. So this will reflect and go very good. Parallel to the principal axis. It will reflect and go parallel to the principal axis. So only for the fourth ray diagram, we make a small change. All the other ray diagram, no issue. Now, can you see, meeting point is exactly under the center of curvature, this way. So, here you have the head. Tail is upriver on the principal axis, no connected. So, when you keep the object at center of curvature, image will be also formed at center of curvature. That is it. Image will be also formed at center of curvature. Same size, virtual, sorry, same size, real object at center of curvature, image at center of curvature, inverse. Properties are it. Okay. So remember when drawing ray diagram in concave mirror, on the fourth one, you have an issue. All the other places, one ray parallel go through focal, the other ray through center of curvature, but touching the head. That being said, fifth one, fifth one normal, fifth one no issues. Fifth ray diagram, no issue. No. Fifth ray diagram, there you go, no issues. So understand the pattern here, that is what I wanted you to understand. If they are center of curvature, after this point, next what? Away from center of curvature. So there you go. Object away from center of curvature. Ah, you all draw the ray diagram. One ray parallel going through focal. The other ray through center of curvature. Now we do the reflections in the dotted line. Draw a dotted line. Straight dotted line. Do the reflections on the dotted line. Right, 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 right.
Right. If I draw and show. Always what happens? One ray parallel. Do the reflection on the daughter line. One ray parallel. Reflects and go through the focal point. One ray parallel. Reflect and go through the focal point. The other ray. Through center of curvature touching the head. Through center of curvature touching the head. Through center of curvature touching the head means somewhere like that. Somewhere like that. Take it up to the daughter line. I'll make the diagram a bit smaller. So somewhere up to there, range the travel. Coming, reflecting, going. Coming, reflecting, going. Where are they meeting? What's your meeting point? This is your meeting point. So that is where head is formed. Always the tail is on the principal axis. That is your image. That is your image. That's your image. Last one there. Six ray diagram. Again, I go concave mirror. Again, I go concave mirror. Principal axis F and C. What's your last ray diagram? When the object is placed at infinity now. Come on, when the object is placed at infinity, all the light rays coming from the object are considered as light rays which are parallel to the principal axis. So whatever the light rays coming are considered as light rays coming parallel to the principal axis. So if I draw, I draw some parallel rays to the principal axis. I'll put a dotted line there. All the light rays coming are going to be parallel to the principal axis. So I draw some parallel rays. I draw some parallel rays. Now you all tell me, parallel rays will reflect and meet at? Parallel rays will reflect and meet at? Parallel rays will reflect and meet at? Other rays reflect and meet them. Of the base. What's the base? Vogel point. Ah. So you reflect them. Make them meet at focal point. So where will the image be formed? Image also formed at focal point. That's it. Image also formed at focal point. Make sense? No? Yeah. Object at infinity. Image at focal point. Object at infinity. Now, object you can't draw. No. Infinity means can you draw the object? You can't. Infinity you can't draw. So, we don't draw the object. We only draw the light rays coming from. That's it. All the six ray diagram for concave mirror. Same kind of thing will come for convex lens also. Same kind of things will come for convex lens also. There you go. Convex lens. Convex lens. 
in a convex lens what we do is in a convex lens what we do is in a convex lens what we do is there you go principal axis both the sides you have to f and to f both the sides f to f this side also f to f here also we keep the object at six different position we give the object at six different positions we give the object at six different position and we need to find out where the image is from how all those things we need to find but the most important thing is as always we place the object on the principal axis so the foot is always on the principal axis the image also then forms its foot on the principal axis image also forms its foot on the principal axis same story object also on principal axis the image also always on the principal axis so you don't need to worry about the foot of the image what we need to only worry about head of the image to find the head of the image here also we send two light rays from the head here also we send two light rays from the head of the object one light ray again same story sent parallel to the principal axis here it will refract and go through the focal point and the second light ray second light ray different second light ray sent through optical center second light ray where optical center it will travel in the same path wherever these two meet is the place where image is formed i'll draw and show you all if i start with the first ray diagram first ray diagram between the lens and focal between the lens and focal you have the lens there you have the principal axis there focal uh before drawing the focal put a dotted line at the center so that it's easy to draw the refraction now from the dotted line measure your focal now to f f to f that is f that is to f this is f this is to f now what we do we keep the object between lens and focal there you go we keep the object between lens and focal. that's your object from the object two light rays you don't worry about the foot from the head two light rays one light ray parallel one light ray parallel there you go one light ray parallel parallel light light ray refract and go through the focal parallel light ray refract and go through the focal and second light ray you send through your optical center there you go second light ray through the optical center second light ray through the optical center now if you look at this you all tell me are they going to meet this side can you see they are getting a little bit far away are they going to meet this side are they going to meet this side any meeting point this side can you see ah no. now same like that can give a mirror if they are not meeting this side we extend it from the other side there you go now extend it when i extend it um, you'll extend more no? i'll make the diagram small and extend and there you go make it smaller little bit more we are going to extend when i extend there you go can you see somewhere there both the rays are meeting Somewhere there, both the rays are meeting. 
meeting point you have your head i told you always the tail is on the focal point always the tail is on the focal point that's how your image is what are the properties of the image first one you need to memorize the properties separately what are the properties image form behind the lens now this is front of the lens this is behind the lens so you can tell image form behind the lens behind the lens always remember in a lens if the object and image are in the same side image is going to be a virtual image that's not the definition no, no. these are shortcuts i am teaching you in a lens if the object and image are in the same side image is going to be a virtual image object in one side image on the other side then the image is real image here object and image in the same side then image is going to be a virtual image try to image virtual image virtual guaranteed upright guaranteed upright and guaranteed enlarged guaranteed enlarged it's enlarged okay but that's not the definition for virtual image huh? what is virtual image means images that cannot be taken to a screen are virtual images images that can be taken to a screen are real images so looking at this you can't find out where the screen is what is the screen is using the definition you can't tell whether it is real or virtual in real situation so the shortcut is if object and image are in the same side image is virtual if object in one side image in the other side image is real in a lens not in mirrors huh? in a lens here also we have a shortcut so to speaking look at these properties for first ray diagram in concave sorry convex lens this is this is the properties for first ray diagrams in convex lens no? first ray diagram convex lens these are the properties no? behind the lens virtual upright enlarged now look at the properties for first ray diagrams in concave mirror first ray diagram concave mirror virtual upright enlarged behind so first ray diagram in concave mirror and first ray diagram in convex lens opposite na? concave mirror convex lens first ray diagrams properties are almost same the only difference is here it's a mirror they are it's a lens again see concave mirror first ray diagram virtual upright enlarged virtual upright enlarged behind virtual upright enlarged behind virtual upright enlarged behind same thing virtual upright enlarged behind same problem so interconnect and memorize first ray diagram in convex lens first ray diagram in concave mirror properties are same properties are same only difference is here you define for the lens there you define for the mirror second third fourth fifth sixth you have it in the shortcut that shortcut table i gave second third fourth fifth sixth ray diagram you have it in the shortcut okay now we'll start writing the second ray diagram second ray diagram there you give the object object at focal you already know object at focal image is at infinity you no know? for the image to be formed at in infinity the refracted light rays should travel parallel no? we will see whether they travel parallel or not now see and now you think it in the opposite you know where the image is formed using that you draw your ray diagram that's your lens that's your principal axis mark the center line dotted line scale it and find your focal to f f to f scale it and do huh? f to f f to f object at focal diago object at focal object at focal you don't worry about the foot you only worry about the head from the head two light rays 
one parallel the other through the optical center we'll send it from the head to light rays one parallel refract and go through your focal the other one through optical center travels in the same path travels in the same path properly scale it and do this one. now here i am not scaling properly with the speed but when you all are doing, if you take 5 centimeter that side, take 5 centimeter this side also. Here also exactly refracted there on the point. Hmm. Here also, there you go. This you travel without waiting. My scaling there is issue, I think. My scaling there is issue. See? Here, this is the focal. Here, can you see there is a issue with the scale? Again, we will scale it and do. Can't help. Again, we will scale it and do. There. This is the focus. Will you do the different mode that will reduce the errors? Uh, this mode, uh, right. We use this board, easy to scale. So no need to give the fingers and scale. Center line. Principal axis I will take from here. Now things are easy. One box, two, three, four, five. Five box, I'll take F. Same. One, two, three, four, five. Five box, I'll take M. Another five box. One, two, three, four, five box, two, F. One, two, three, four, five box, two, M. This is the hardest part here. Geometrical optics, so you should exactly scale and take. Keep the object now exactly at F. Keep the object exactly at F. There you go. Correct? Keep the object exactly at F. Uh, we'll drag it a little bit to the top. Object at F. One ray going to be parallel. There you go. One ray parallel. Refract and go through focal. Refract and go through focal. Second ray through optical center. There you go. Travels in the same bar. Now coming correctly. Now correctly. Yeah. Don't tell me, are they going to meet anywhere this side? Coming, going to the arrow. Coming, going there, going there, going there. Are they going to meet? Are they going to meet? Sorry, dot com. No meeting point. We'll travel until infinity. Image form that infinity. Image form that infinity. Huh? Go to the third one also. Now you all know the pattern. Third ray diagram. Now already you place the object at F. Now between F and 2F. Between F and 2F. <laughs> Object between F and 2F. That's your principal axis. One, two, three, four, five, F. One, two, three, four, five, two, F. One, two, three, four, five, again, another F. One, two, three, four, five, two, F. Object between F and two F. 
object between f and two f somewhere here i will keep that is your object now if i draw the ray diagram one life ray parallel same story just like driving a manual car no any changes one light ray parallel refract and go through the focal point second light ray through optical center travels through the same path will be meeting somewhere there meeting point should be away from to where tabi kam dot kam the meeting point is away from to where Correct. Away from to where you have the meeting point. So that is your image point. If I draw that is the image in full axis, that is the object. Don't forget the arrows. They are, they are, they are. Okay. Now it becomes bored. No? That's the thing. same thing now gets repeated. Photon. Photon object at 2F, then image also at 2F. That opposite thing. 2F, 2F. There go convex. Center line. Principal axis. One two three one two three four five F one two three four five two F one two one two three four five F one two three four five two F object at two S now same story object at two F that's your object. One ray parallel, refract and go through focal. Second ray through optical center, travels in the same path. You have the meeting point there. That is your head. Tail is always on the principal axis. That is your tail. Can you see exactly how much in this scale it can draw? Can you see now? You get proper diagrams. You scale it and draw, you are getting exactly proper diagrams. That is your object, that is your image. These are the light rays. Fifth and sixth, you all draw it. Fifth after two F. Fifth diagram after two F. Same thing, one parallel go through focal, the other one through optical center. Nothing big. Fifth ray diagram away from object is away from to end. And the principal axis scale it and row one, two, three, four, five. You have the focal 
Now place the object away from to web somewhere here I will place. Same story, no changes. One ray parallel go through focal. The other ray through optical center travels through the same path. When you properly scale it and row, you will get a diagram like this. This is the meeting point. Get this there. Tail is always on the principal axis, that's image. Last one, fifth one, sorry, sixth one, sixth one, nothing big. F to F, F to F. Now where is the object? Object at infinity. Object at infinity. Are you going to draw the object? No, 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 man. You cannot draw the object. Then what you draw? Only the light rays coming from the object. Light rays coming from an object at infinity are parallel to the principal axis. There you go. Parallel to the principal axis. Parallel rays refract and meet at focal point. There you go. Refract and meet at focal point. So your image is also formed at focal point as a small dot, point, a diminished image. That's it. Con That's it. Convex mirror and concave lens for that one shot all at once. So remember the shortcut. Now. First ray diagram both same. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. That means the remaining five use the shortcut and start writing. Only one change in concave mirror, fourth position, that is object at center of curvature, you make a small change. Always use it. Usually use it one ray parallel, reflect and go through focal, the other ray through center of curvature. But in fourth ray diagram in concave mirror, one ray parallel, okay. Second ray sent through the focal point. So that one, when you are drawing, you can understand. Okay, that's it. Convex lens also done. Concave mirror also done. What is remaining? What is remaining? What is remaining? Concave mirror over. Then convex mirror is remaining. Convex mirror is remaining. And 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 under lenses, concave lens is remaining. These people doesn't have a lot of ray diagram. Only one, one ray diagram. Convex mirror, one ray diagram. Concave lens, one ray diagram. That's it, less or no. We'll quickly draw for convex mirror first. We'll quickly draw for convex mirror. First of all, what is this convex mirror? This way. Cave is going to be the rough surface. Other side is the reflecting surface. If I draw the principal axis, there you go. 
If I draw the traceable axis, this is my traceable axis. Whatever the mirror, only inside the curved part, you have focal point at the center of curvature. One, two, three, four, five focal points. One, two, three, four, five center of curvature. But this side is going to be rough surface. In rough surface, you are going, not going to keep any object. You keep the object in front of the reflecting surface. This is your reflecting surface. In front of it, wherever you want, you keep, your, you keep the object. Wherever you want, let's say you keep the object here. Wherever you want, you don't have a specific position here. Wherever you want, you keep the object. Two light rays send, same story. Two light rays send. One light ray parallel to principal axis. Now think. Huh? I mean, here also we'll draw a dotted line. Here also we'll draw a dotted line. Do all your reflections on the dotted line. So there you go. If I send a light ray. One light ray parallel to principal axis. Lamai, whatever the light ray is coming parallel to principal axis. In convex mirror. Reflect and go as if it is going from focal point. Last week, work. so there you go. It reflect and go as if it is going from focal point. As if it is going from focal point. Just like that. Just like that. that is one light. One light ray, not enough. No. Second light ray, same story. You send towards the center of curvature. When you send a light rays towards the center of curvature, it will reflect and go in the same path. It will reflect and go in the same path. It will reflect and go in the same path. There you go. Coming, going, same path. Where are they meeting? Inside the mirror, somewhere there. This is your meeting point. That is the head, that is the tail, that is the image. That is the image. That's convex mirror over. What are the properties? Lamai, image is formed inside the mirror. Inside the mirror means, can you take a screen and keep it there? No. Can you take this image onto a screen? No. Then what type of an image? Virtual image. Upright or inverted? Upright. Enlarged or diminished? Diminished can it become smaller. Diminished, it has become smaller. Where is the image form? Behind the mirror. Behind the mirror. Behind the mirror. Behind the mirror. That's it. Convex mirror over. Here you don't have different position, only one single position, just in front of the mirror. Last one. Concave lens. Concave lens. There you go, concave lens. Here also draw a dotted line. Now draw your principal axis. Both the sides F and to F. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, F. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, to F. The other side also. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, F. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, to F. Here also, wherever you want, you keep the object. Uh, I'll just, just, I'll keep between F and to F. Wherever I want, I'm going to keep the object. Between F and to F. If you don't like F and to F, keep at F. Or if you don't like that, keep at to F. Wherever you want, you keep the object. Two light rays. One light ray parallel. One light ray parallel. One light ray parallel. Parallel light ray, how will it go? Refract and goes as if it is going from the focal. So if I draw it. If I draw it, it yeah. will reflect, refract and go as if it is going from the focus. So that way it's going to refract and that way the light ray will refract and 
is one light ray in a no two light rays needed same like convex mirror here also second light ray you send through optical sin travels in the same path travels in the same path no refraction where are they meeting they are meeting here this is your head then that is the tail this is your image what are the properties i told you in a lens if object and image are in same side virtual image this is only in a lens huh? don't apply to the mirror mirror story is totally different virtual image object and image in same side virtual image upright or inverted upright image enlarged or diminished diminished why object image is smaller diminished image uh, where is the image form behind the lens this is in front this is behind so behind the lens image behind the lens image here also there is a connection diagram convex mirror also there is only one ray diagram concave lens also there is only one ray diagram opposite convex mirror concave lens one one ray diagram both the ray diagram look at their properties look at their properties convex mirror also virtual concave lens also virtual convex mirror also upright concave lens also upright convex mirror also diminish concave lens also diminish convex mirror also behind concave also here nothing to memorize nothing to memorize lesson four okay now understood that this lesson is nothing but just some connections but just some connections what are your connections three connections are there three connections are there first connection between convex lens and concave mirror first ray diagrams all the same second third fourth fifth sixth remaining five ray diagram that shortcut table after that comes concave lens convex mirror both their properties are same that's it let's go okay got it got it now got it now any doubts there what i wanted to actually do here is the connection i went a bit fast in drawing the ray diagram because that can you can take time and draw but that connection i want to put into your mind is that connection now in your mind i will write it separately and keep also what's your connection in geometrical optics drawing ray diagram what is your connection there connection summary here you can write down connection summary what's your connection summary first one convex lens convex lens ray diagrams and concave mirror ray diagrams are same convex lens ray diagram concave mirror ray diagrams are same first ray diagram first ray diagram you interconnect and keep second third fourth fifth there is a summary chart next coming opposite of it concave lens concave lens and convex mirror they are ray diagrams are same only one ray diagram is there both the ray diagrams are same okay so interconnect it then study hmm? only one homework i am giving you all the homework is <coughs> again draw all the ray diagram but interconnect and draw now all this time you will interconnect and draw now i taught you how to interconnect and draw interconnect and draw it. so keep the map in your okay okay a bit of a long session until 10:40 a bit of a long session 
tomorrow might be more longer than this and tomorrow session might be more longer than this and tomorrow we are going to revise chemistry section huh? chemistry all the days is great and all the days before your school exam we are going to revise and here i will put the past paper questions also do the past paper questions also and keep the geometry graphics past paper questions also fully do and keep uh, so tomorrow we are going to revise uh, chemistry grade 10 all the chemistry after revising tomorrow sometimes we might not be able to finish everything so the remaining part we will be continuing on the following week that is 24th i think and following week tuesday we will continue that wednesday i will not do anything because you need time to study for your exams also so in the 24th again no, nothing uh, november first week also we will not do the rqd or due to exam week just after the exam again we will continue with the rqd that's how it will proceed right before finishing before finishing now you all tell me uh, drawing ray diagram i went a bit faster but other than that that connection part that's what i wanted what do you feel about geometrical optics drawing ray diagram for lenses and mirrors lenses and curvatures what do you think what do you think ah we'll go later by later we'll go later by later there you go p p next letter next letter a a next next t t next letter next letter another t t last letter a a a there you go next e a last two s and last letter y part the easy don't forget t and the sequence okay in a geometrical optics with this fully done fully done uh, you all do the homework and keep then tomorrow i will meet you all again with chemistry okay keep working bye